Hey guys, I'm Jack. Welcome to Netlink Daily, a daily tech news show. Today marks the first episode of 2016. On a Tuesday. Coverage from CES 2016 on NCX TV would not be possible at all without Be Quiet. Shout out goes to MSI for providing the team with gaming notebooks for editing, and a shout out to also Cooler Master, because they're cool too. So CES doesn't officially start until tomorrow, but NVIDIA held their press conference yesterday to kick things off. NVIDIA's focus this year was on the automotive industry. The showstopper here was NVIDIA's Drive PX2, the successor to last year's in-car supercomputer. The PX2 features a 16 nanometer FinFET process, 12 CPU cores, and what is presumed to be a Pascal GPU. The PX2 consumes 250 watts of power and will be liquid-cooled, which makes it more suitable for electric cars. Other types of vehicles will have a separate radiator module for the PX2. The first cars to be equipped with the PX2 will be Volvos. NVIDIA also showed off DriveWorks and DriveNet supporting technologies. DriveWorks essentially is software that takes in all the data from in-car sensors and interfaces so that the computer can make smart decisions about driving. DriveNet, on the other hand, helps to train cars to cope with real-life day-to-day events. So so in a nutshell, making the car's AI smarter. The PX2 will be available to early access partners in Q2 with general availability not occurring until Q4. So with HTC delaying the Vive headset, you would think that they wouldn't have really anything to show off at CES, right? Wrong! HTC has just launched the Vive Pre. The Vive Pre is the second generation of the dev units. The Pre has had each and every component redesigned with comfort, ergonomics, and performance in mind. But the most notable difference is the inclusion of a forward-facing camera. The camera is used to feed an overlay of the space around the player into the virtual reality experience, enhancing their ability to have an awareness of the real world. 7,000 units of the Vive Pre are said to be available before the general release of the retail devices. And speaking of VR, a huge announcement from Oculus. On the original Kickstarter page, Palmer Lucky, Brendan Arib, and Nate Mitchell filmed a short update video letting the community know that anyone who pledged for a DK1 will be getting an Oculus Rift for free. Wow, what a class act, Oculus. All the backers need to do is fill out a survey by February 1st, 2016 and provide a shipping address, unless you don't live in one of the 20 countries that they ship to, but Oculus is working on an alternative. And just like the Rift pre-orders, OG backers will get a bundled copy of Lucky's Tale and Eve Valkyrie. Good thing they announced this before the pre-order started tomorrow. Now that would have been a PR nightmare. Oh, and here it comes, the first one of 2016. Lightning round. Twitter might be increasing the character limit on tweets till 10,000. Jeez. Faraday Future's FF01 concept car was unveiled. It looks like the 1960s Batmobile melded with the Batmobile from the animated series. Seagate so announced a super slim 9.6mm external 2TB drive, while Lacy, or Lacy announced a new Porsche designed USB Type C drives. Ford announced that they are partnering up with Amazon so they can take advantage of Alexa, and Ford is also partnering up with DJI for the Drone to Vehicle Dev Challenge. Gigabyte updated the Aorus X5 with Skylake and a Fusion keyboard. Garmin showed off a $400 headset for cyclists that can pair with the Varia rear view radar system. Say that four times fast. Main Gear unveils a 34 inch all in one with an 18 core Xeon and a Titan X. And something not from CES, Activision Blizzard has acquired Major League Gaming. Sources for all today's stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Come visit Jack's Joke Shop of South Attleboro, Massachusetts. Remember, if it ain't funny, it ain't worth jack. Yes, it's true CES doesn't officially start until tomorrow, but we've already sent our B team down to Las Vegas to do all the stuff we don't get to do, like look at all the cool things and eat all the free food and going on the many taxi rides to different hotels and visit the different, the different vendors, Jack. Anyways. <laughs> Julia and Anthony will be bringing you the most up-to-date coverage from the show floor and they'll be posting it to our Twitter, Instagram, and our second channel, NCX TV. What? You didn't know we had a second channel? Ah, well, hop to it and check it out. Click here or the link in the description for all the details. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here.
for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for my amateur wrestling debut as the Jackaroo. No, that, that's a lie. I'm, I'm just going for dinner, so. Later days.